so slow hey dee hey dee ho the elephant is so slow she swings her trunk from side to side and takes the children for a ride hey dee hey dee ho the elephant is so slow
Once you've got the two nice big triangles, you give him a nice long nose coming out to a little spike on the end. Now once we've got that, we can start putting in all the wavy gums all along the bottom of the top part of his jaw. It's like our gums that we have to protect our teeth. It is. And once we've got those, we can start putting the spiky teeth in all the way along the gums. It's up to you if you think the teeth look better on the tops of the gums or in between like I've done. No, 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 no. I think they both look good. Now, once we've got this done, we can give him eyes. If you give him big eyes, he's going to look nice and friendly. And if you give him little eyes, he's going to look angry and mean. So think about what you want your crocodile to look like. Can I do these ones that like make it straight? Like he's yeah, straight. you can try that. <sighs> and we the eyes. Yeah, look at that. The eyes give them a lot of personality, don't they? Yeah. Now, this is the really hard part. We've got to start drawing the bottom part of his mouth, okay? Okay. So the way we do that is we start here at the end of his top jaw and we bring a big half circle up and over like that. It's like a circle. It's like half a circle. There you go. And now we come back here. We come down a little bit. And now we start drawing the gums just like we did on top. Give him lots of gums so he can have lots of teeth. And I'll make him more look more scarier. Yeah. <laughs> Once you've got that done, you can start at the very tip of that jaw and swing it all the way back and connect it to the half a circle. Oh, he's got a big chin. <laughs> now, we put in the teeth on the bottom jaw. Oh, I actually already put it in. That's okay. And the last step is we're connecting the back of his head to the back of his jaw. Spiky. What do you think? Whose um, crocodile is better? Mine definitely. I like yours too. <laughs> it's got so much personality. Now, while we're colouring him in, why don't we watch Ida's new limerick about a giraffe? Young Susie Giraffe from Rwanda dreamt of dancing the cha-cha. She practiced away all night and all day, stumbling all the way to Botswana. John, I like your drawing. It looks cool. Thank you. Hey, did you enjoy our new animation? Wasn't it fun? Did you like the giraffe? Hi, how are your drawings going? Good. I think we're nearly done. Are you? Oh, let's show the children at home. Wow, did you have a go at drawing a crocodile? They've got sharp teeth. What kind of things do your crocodiles eat? Well, a crocodile will eat just about anything it can catch going through the water. So it'll eat antelope and it'll eat wildebeest and it'll even catch a zebra if it can, if it can catch one crossing a river. A bit scary, isn't it? Yeah, whatever got next to his river, he will snap. Well, we've got another song about other animals in Africa, and I'm pretty sure there's a zebra in our song. And what else, John? Giraffe? I think there is. And there's a gazelle, mm -hmm. and there's a lion. Oh, a lion. Wow. And there's a hippo. Let's, Hip have, let's, let's have a listen to this song. OK, 
Okay, where are we going to go today? I know. Let's go to Africa. Are you ready? Here we go. Hippo, hippo, I see you. See your eyes peeping through. Through the muddy river white hippopotamus hide. Here come the zebras. Zebra, zebra, black and white. Put together day and night, camouflaging when they fear. Hungry predators near. Now gazelles, leaping, leaping very high. Gazelles with curly horns pass by. After grazing on the grass, startled they run fast. Here come the lions. Lions roaring far away In the sun cubs doze and play Hungry mouths need to be fed Gazelles and zebras fled Well thanks for joining us today here at Ida's Music Room with John and Nived. We had a lot of fun. We'll see you next time. Let's say bye. Bye. bye.